watch the world. What's going on? Xander J. Hobson here. Stand-up comedian, entertainer, director and producer of boxing documentaries, and internet troll to those who need internet trolling. Uh, before we go any farther, please subscribe, hate this video, like it, share the video, and leave a comment. And the comments could be something positive, or you could say something nasty. But just know, if you say something nasty, I'm going to say something nasty back. And even if you try to block the response, I want to take the time to find you and say something nasty to you. So, with that said, I was thinking about uh, O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown Simpson. I ran across something on YouTube and it made me think about an occasion when Xander Hobson was then Technical Sergeant Joel A. Hobson and I was on a trip around the world with a crew and I was the only African American. Now, it wasn't uncommon for me to be the only African American on the air crew because as an enlisted aviator, we were the minorities in the aviation community. And to be totally honest with you, the white folks didn't want us in the aviation community. And a lot of times, these white guys, and in some cases white women, would try their damnedest to disqualify an African-American aviator in some way, shape, or form so we wouldn't become a part of their good old boys network. So again, often enough, Xander J. Hobson was the only African-American on these crews, which was cool because uh, I was from the hard and gritty streets of North Philadelphia having done numerous bad things that I would never speak of publicly. And as well as honing and sharpening my skills in the Philadelphia boxing rings, as well as the martial arts and wrestling. So by the time I become an enlisted air crew member, Xander Hobson was quite confident in himself and was quite skilled at defending himself physically as well as intellectually. I have been trained and groomed for it. And if any anyone out there who has ever been an African American who had to function in a scenario where you were the only African American, you knew that you had to be a sharp ass nigga to deal with those white folks. So, after painting that picture, so you guys can see what I was dealing with. I was on this trip around the world. And, again, I was the only black guy. And as the only black guy, I felt comfortable because these were people that I knew and worked with and actually liked. So, we're up in Alaska. And... We're at this restaurant, and believe it or not, not only am I the only black guy on this air crew, I'm the only black guy in this restaurant. So, I said that to say this. We're sitting there, and we're talking, and we're having a great time. And then out of nowhere, this white guy who... It was the first time that I'd ever flew with him. He just blurted out. So I guess you think O.J. Simpson was innocent. Well, I had to take a deep breath to keep from cussing this white motherfucker out. But after I took that deep breath, I looked at this man and said, 
First of all, man, we sitting around, all of us, and we're enjoying one another's company. Why the hell would you ask such a derisive question when we're all sitting around here enjoying ourselves? I said, now, I hope you don't think I'm one of these punk ass black motherfuckers who is somehow intimidated because I'm the only black dude in here. I said, let's put that on the table. I said, now, now that we've established where we all are, let me tell you what the fuck I think happened. I said, no, OJ didn't kill Nicole Brown Simpson. I said, now, does OJ know who killed her? Absolutely. I said, because you know who killed her? The guys that she brought drugs off of. I said, let me tell you something. I said, first of all, Nicole was a piece of shit. She's a white drug addict bitch. Okay? And I said, and what transpired was, even though O.J. Simpson and Nicole were separated, Nicole was buying drugs on O.J.'s name. And more than likely, O.J. was paying for it. I said, but at some point, at some point, O.J. said, fuck this bitch. You want to fuck that white boy? You let him pay for your shit. And when the drug dealers came to O.J. Simpson to collect on the tab, O.J. said, let that white boy she fucking pay for it. And they got to kill him. I said, now that's what I think happened to Nicole Brown Simpson. Did O.J. kill her? No. Does O.J. know who killed her? Absolutely. So, I just figured... I share that experience with you all. I'm done with it. Bam!